And I just came to get the rest of my things. Watch out. I didn't come here for all that. I just came to get my stuff. So you done for real? Yeah, I'm from Morocco. Oh, where is that at? It's in Africa. Africa. But, but you're not black. stupid. Fun fact. Liberia is the only country where citizenship is based solely on race. If you are not black, you can't get citizenship in Liberia. Even if you are born there, one of your parents has to be black. Follow for more. So you don't see him hiding in the corner? I'm getting tired of your mouth! Hold on! What's going on? Nothing! Ma, what's going on? She said nothing! Man, I know you better stop slamming doors in here, boy! Mind your business! Stay in the town! You stay in a stranger place! Yeah, you nobody did in here! You don't run shit! Girl, what else? What you trying to do? Swing! Y'all stop! Bro, you just came back from the stove? Hell yeah. You got some hot Cheetos? Bro, yeah, I'll put you on it, oh! Get out of my face! That boy used the bathroom, then turned off the light. I'll put you on it, eh? Bro! And I'm about to put you on the floor! What's up, bro? Hey, Captain Crunch, I'll put you on it, bro! Bro! No, you! See me right now! I, sw I swear to God it is, bro. I swear, I swear to God. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, what's the name of that goddamn movie with the, um, with the goddamn, um, with the black people? It's a goddamn, um, a goddamn ice cream truck, and, uh, they fighting. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, it's a movie with black people outside fighting the ice cream truck. Bro, stop playing stupid, bro. You know what movie I'm talking about. Nigga, do you even know what you're talking about? Bro, you seen the movie, bro? Bro, you, you remember the goddamn movie, because bro, bro had a goddamn, he had a goddamn bike, and he, and he, and he was, uh, he was big as hell. What the hell? Bro, I'm dead ass finna still off on you, bro. How the hell you gonna get mad at me, because you don't know what the hell you talking about? Because you seen the goddamn movie, bro. You just trying to be funny, bro. Bro, what the hell am I supposed to get from some black people fighting outside in an ice cream truck with a goddamn bike? What the hell am I supposed to get from that? Nigga, you know what I'm talking about. The dude, um, Ice Cube was in it. What? Ice Cube? Bro, you talking about Friday? Friday. How the hell you- Appreciate it, bro. Did you even watch the movie? That's what I'm saying, though. You know what I'm saying? We can watch Friday. Goddamn. How the hell was I supposed to get Friday from that? Okay, so hear me out. We need to combine a quinceanera, a black people cookout, and then a white people get together. I don't know what y'all call your stuff. Black people, we in charge of the food. Uncle gonna be on the grill. Grandma and Nati gonna be in the kitchen whipping up the macaroni and cheese, the sides, and the desserts, all right? Hispanics, y'all in charge of the music and the alcohol. Don't nobody throw a party like y'all throw a party. We know that party gonna go until at least 3 a.m., if not 3 a.m. into the next day. White people, y'all are the most innovative when it comes to side activities, so y'all gonna be in charge of that, whether that be water slide, kickball, mudding, shooting guns, whatever y'all got, bring to the table. We gonna have some fun. This is gonna be a big, bomb-ass party. We all gonna come together, have some good food, and have some good time. If you down, let me know. Hey, bro, you sleep? No, I'm practicing for my funeral. Bro, get out! I don't about to leave, bro. bro. you about to go home? Bro, I don't like you, bro. You about to eat some cereal, bro? Bro, you just like to hear yourself talk or something? No cap, I got the ball and everything. Hey, y'all finna go hoop, bro? Hold on. <clears throat> I'm calling your mother. For what, bro? I didn't even... All right, call her, bro. Call... She at work. Call her, bro. Call her. Make no sense, bro. Good afternoon, Miss Johnson. Yeah, you're... So... Not look at you. Not look... I told you not to call her. Uh, Ma'am, I understand you at work. Everybody. Sure, here he is. Still got this old Android, bro. Hello? You again? Mom, who you talking to? Nobody. Why's that man calling my phone? I told him not to call you. Close your mouth. I see you when you All get right. home. Bye! You got both of us just out. Now look at you, bro. Don't make no sense, bro. Hey, bro, you better go to sleep. No, I'm about to take a long blink. Bro, stop playing with me. Bro, you finna make French toast? Bro, I never liked you. Bro, you better go to work. Yeah, on your ass, bro. What's up? Hey, bro, you better roll up. Enough is enough. You do know that I'm black, right? 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 Uh, what's good with my boy? Hey, we going to the bowling alley at 3. You trying to go? Oh, 3 o'clock? Yeah, bet, I'll be there. 3 a fucking clock. Okay, bro, 3 o'clock. Yeah, I'll be there. All right, all right. All right, bet, bet, bet. Yo, hello? Yo, have you left yet or what? Yeah, I left like five minutes ago. Bro, did you actually? Yeah, yeah, I left. All right. All right, for sure, yeah, yeah. Hello? Yo, you almost fucking here? Yeah, bro. I'm like right down the street from you, bro. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traffic been crazy, uh, bro. My fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. This shit been going stupid. All right, bro. Hurry up. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn, I need gas. Shit. Hello? Where the fuck you at? Yeah, bro. I'm pulling up right now. I'm right all by right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry the fuck up. Yeah, all right, baby, baby. Yo, what's good with y'all, man? Where the fuck you been? I told you traffic, bro. It's too late. We leaving. What? Yes, bro. Say swear. Dark skin and some people consider themselves brown skin. Like me, I consider myself brown skin. 
black people, we have a lot of work to do. Because when I hear this girl talking, I don't understand why in the black community we have to entertain this type of ideology. So if I use your analogies, right? If you brown skin, you're not better than light skin, but you're better than dark skin. And if you light skin, you're not better than white people, but you're better than brown skin and dark skin. So dark skins are in the bottom of the racism and discrimination chain. Like, why do we have to entertain this type of analogy in the black community? Like, it's multiple shades of black. We all know that. Like, we shouldn't treat people because, oh, I'm lighter or I'm darker or I'm medium. Why do we have to treat people because of the color of their skin? Like, this is colorism, for fuck's sake. Um, not to sound rude, but it's your dish day. What? Yeah, maybe your daddy didn't. I don't want to sound rude, but I didn't come over for all that. You better ask your kids to do that, not me. Excuse you, we have chores in yeah, this house. Yeah, chores that I don't got to do. You my daddy girlfriend, not my mama. Stay in your place. All right, I'm going to just call you daddy. Call him. I ain't come over to do none of that. It's not happening. So you're not going to no. do it? Fuck on. Yeah, you got to go. All right, y'all, we doing black mama sayings. If you black, growing up black, and you heard any of these, put a finger down. So put your hands up. Let's see. Put a finger down if you heard I'm not one of your little friends. Put a finger down if you heard I am not boo-boo the fool. Put a finger down if you heard a hard head makes a soft behind. Put a finger down if you heard do you got McDonald's money? Put a finger down if you heard stop all that crying because I'll give you something to cry about. Put a finger down if you heard I hope you know that schoolwork like you know them songs you be singing. Put a finger down if you heard fix your face. Put a finger down if you heard, when we get in this store, don't ask or touch nothing. Put a finger down if you heard, stop running in and out my house. Put a finger down if you heard, you smell like outside. Name the top three seasonings black people use on everything. Sixty-four percent of black kids in America do not know how to swim. This is not a stereotype. This is history. Aside from the fact that slaves were chained together and thrown into the ocean off of ships, in the 1920s when Jim Crow laws were in full effect, public swimming facilities such as pools and beaches were segregated by race. However, black people still faced violence and harassment within their own community. White people would come to these public swimming pools and throw cleaning supplies or acid into the pools while black children or families were swimming in them. This lasted for decades and it caused a widespread fear of pools within the black community. During desegregation in the late 60s, white people still did not want to swim with black people because they viewed them as dirty. So they got pools in their own backyard. Through generations, not swimming became a common trait within the black community and parents did not teach their kids how to swim because they never swam. Cleaning chemicals inside the pool in an effort to get the Negroes to leave. Think about a Mexican man, he gonna always keep a job. Think about a black woman, they will always put down a black man for any and everything. At this point, I don't ever want to hear a black woman complain about a black man again. I'm so tired of it. Y'all want to know why we don't respect y'all. Y'all want to know why we go outside our race nowadays, why we... Bro, what is you tripping for, bruh? She did not say anything derogatory or disrespectful about black men. She didn't even say nothing about black men in the video. Like, bruh, literally, she did not say in the video that black men are not this or that. Bruh, you literally went out your way to attack that black queen and black woman in general because you got your feelings hurt. Do you not know that black men on TikTok just took a big L last week because of that DJ Flocko situation? Now a lot of black women don't even trust us anymore, but here you are going out your way and making it worse. Now in case you don't want to believe me and deny the facts, let's go ahead and watch the video and see what the girl really said. Think about a Mexican man, he gonna always keep a job. I don't care what nobody say, he all Mexican people, Mexican men always keep a job. Like all the time, they be out there working in the hot sun. Now, I respect them for that. Now, that was all she said, and you got pressed mysteriously. That's just ridiculous, man. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Deuce. Not me getting called out for leaving. Me trying to keep it together because she been up there so long. Me plotting my escape. Against us, we have to think on the 
Her asking where I'm going. Dan, she want to call me out. Can I get 60 more seconds of your time? You had 60 more seconds for my time. Like, how does it take two hours for you to get your point across? How? Somebody tell me. I know my daddy mad as hell. Ain't no more members getting a chance to speak no more. I blame Shorty, cuz. Where are you going? I don't know where I'm going. I gotta go, though. I've been at church since 10 a.m. Bay. Yo, what's up, bae? Nothing. I'm just telling you good night. I'm about to go to bed, bae. All right, good night. I love you. So you not coming to bed? Here I come. All right, we're gonna head out, y'all. All right, y'all, we're gonna go and head out. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's her oldest. Uh-huh. I think so. I'm still working on the yard out here. It looks good. Y'all gonna get in the car. Yeah, girl. Yeah, you know, she don't work out there no more. She work out there, uh, out there with, uh, you know his name, the tall one. That you, you know, I don't even hang around there no more. I, I said I let all that go. Let the window up. Yeah. Next time I go out there where I grab you some, what kind? That's the kind I use. Uh, but yeah, just let me know. We'll be, we'll come. Mm hmm Yeah, the kids like to go out that way. Mm -hmm. Just let me know. All right, girl. Listen, black people have certain rules in this heat. First thing first, do not get to ask me a whole bunch of questions in this heat because it's too hot for that. Number two. If AC is not involved in the plan, do not invite me. Number three, do not stare at me for too long because it's too hot for that. Last but not least, do not touch me in this heat because it's too hot for that. Ditch this with the most disgusting thing that's happened to you while working in a hospital. All right, folks, take a seat. I got a crazy one for you. You ready? So about three years ago, a guy comes into the emergency room talking about cramping, constipation, and a pain in his genital area. So they do a couple of quick tests uh, and confirm that he is in fact constipated. So the next part that they do is they pull down his pants to look at his genital area. The nurse is completely blown away when she pulls down his pants and sees that his balls are actually tucked inside of his asshole and immediately calls the doctor. When the doctor asked how this happened, the man said that he had a bet with one of his friends for $100 that he couldn't tuck his balls in his ass. He also explained how his friend helped him by <coughs> popping each one in individually. Crazy part about this stitch is I don't work in a hospital. I'm just explaining the aftermath of what happened after I won the $100.